perfect, smooth, seaplane landing. Right on top of the water. Right here in Arizona. What? You say, a seaplane in Arizona? Oh yeah, let's back it up. We booked a trip on Desert Splash Adventures, flying out of Scottsdale Air Park. It's a Cessna Caravan seaplane. It spends all summer flying up in Alaska, where seaplanes are a way of life. But now, it winters down here in the valley. So let's climb on board. Pretty roomy cabin. We lift off and head northeast. Over rugged, canyon-filled terrain. Very few see this from below. Okay, so we uh, follow the Salt River upstream here. We're going to come up on Canyon Lake off the right-hand side. A great view of Saguaro, then Canyon Lake, then Apache. Pilot Scott Bow says passengers just love it. Just the really pretty rocks, gorgeous terrain down here. It's almost like a miniature green. And in about a half an hour, we see our destination, Roosevelt Lake. Make sure you guys have your seatbelts on securely. And with a seaplane, the whole lake is one huge landing strip. And the surface is just glass. It's really cool how Pilot Scott just kind of skims the water. But if the plane slows down, we have a true splash break. Taxis out to a deserted island. We have it all to ourselves. Woo! Laura Courier owns Desert Splash with her husband. In Arizona, a float plane is just like, what? So when they get out here and get the plane and land and have fun, they're just, everybody has come back just talking about it, twittering about it. And why not? We can book a single seat or even rent the whole plane like one family did for a birthday celebration. This family wanted to bring their daughter up here for just something different for a birthday. So we uh, put together some lunches, got them some balloons, some fun stuff. Our stay on the island is a short one. It's soon as time to take back off. And it's as smooth as the landing was. We then take a beautiful flight over the Superstition Mountains and wind our way back to Scottsdale Air Park for a more traditional landing on concrete. The passengers all have big smiles on their faces. And after a laid-back adventure like this, who would? That is cool. Isn't Very that cool. nice? Yeah. What Isn't does that cost if you want to do this? It's a couple hundred bucks. They have all different stuff going on, though. Uh, we just did a, the very basic adventure. We go out into the middle of the lake and go to that desert, deserted island. But you can get paddleboard lessons. Uh, you can go to a dude ranch. You can do all sorts of things. You want to run out the entire plane yourself. It, a pretty smooth landing compared to when you land uh, 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 on ground. Oh, yeah. Very smooth because, uh, you know, there's no, like, initial, like, heavy bump. You just kind of barely skate along the water, and all things kind of slow it down. Splash it's very down. smooth and nice. Yes, it is splash. Now, when you're on the water, then you can take, you can keep spinning the prop, obviously, and just keep cruising around if you want to. And right? that's what it's like. Yeah, it's like a boat, like a really fast boat. Because we touched down on the lake, and then we kind of piloted right to that island. And it was kind of neat too, being on that island, literally in the middle of Roosevelt Lake, and looking around and saying, "Oh, well, we're out here." And, there's our ride, our plane, yeah, sure. sitting they, on the beach. They go from Alaska to Arizona. They are true snowbirds. Oh, big time. Well, they can't fly this plane in certain parts of Alaska because of all the ice and things. So I want to say thanks to Desert Splash Adventures and put all the information for their tours on our website. So go ahead and check them out. You're like 007. <laughs> you really? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Not stirred. <laughs> hey, Troy Hayden. <laughs> yes, James Bond, Troy, Hayden, Troy Hayden. Yeah, that's that's good. All right. Thanks, Troy. Yeah. Pretty pictures. <laughs> <laughs>